Jolly afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Agro Entrepreneurship for Inclusive Value Chain's second commencement exercise. Allow us to first introduce ourselves. I'm Taki Tateno from the Jollibee Group Foundation. And I am Jean Merced, also from JGF. Jolly afternoon, Taki, and jolly afternoon to everyone. We will be your MCs for this afternoon's ceremonies. Again, welcome everyone. No, alam mo, Jean, we hope that they are as excited as we are for this program. Since we're on a virtual platform, baka pwede natin i-check ang ating chat box no? or na para makita natin yung mga participants natin wherein they can say hi or use reaction buttons to let us know that they are actually here na sa ating ano, graduation. Ayan. So nakikita natin, Jean, no? marami ng mga nag-good afternoon, marami yeah, ng may, yeah, may nagkakansyawan na or ano, Rapple and Jesus kanina, no? Yeah. Yes, opo yan. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Sabi ni Ma'am Marisol kanina, maganda pa daw tayo sa hapon. I-claim natin yan, Ma'am. <laughs> yes po. All right, so thank you Pono, for being with us today. As we begin with today's program, we would like to call on Mr. Elenito B. Duran, Faculty of the Agribusiness Program College of Agriculture at Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Loving Father, God of all nations, we praise and glorify your name. We thank you for the completion of the three batches of the introductory course and the inaugural batch of the intermediate course of the Agro Entrepreneurship for Inclusive Value Chains graduates. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work. In gratitude, we pray for the faculty who have challenged, cared, and crafted them along this journey. We pray for the participants who have taught us more about friendships, collaboration, and sharing. Please bless our graduates as they reach this end as, and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned from the course allow them truly be agents of change to make our country a better place to live in. May your spirit guide us as we unfold the next chapters of our lives. Help us to live in, in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we find in knowing you and loving you. For this is the day that you have made. Enable us to stay true to our dreams for your greater glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use these gifts wisely and in service to others. We ask all of this in your name, O oh Lord of all peoples and religions, Amen. Amen. And now, may we request everyone to please all stand for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. be seated. Today's program is a celebration of the Agro Entrepreneurship course graduates who have completed and excelled in the course this year. We have three batches from the introductory course with a total of 108 graduates from 61 organizations. We also launched the intermediate course this year and have 24 graduates from 14 organizations for the Pioneer batch. Yes, Jean. So in total, we now have a total of 205 graduates from the course. Imagine the numbers, no, Jean? 
All of this has been possible through the partnership between the Jollibee Group Foundation and Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, and the hard work and active participation of our graduates. Now, to kick things off, we would like to call on Father Mars P. Tan of the Society of Jesus, President of Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, for his opening remarks. Thank you, Taki and Jean. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Mayong hapon sa tanan. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. First of all, let me greet all the graduates of both courses, the introductory and intermediate courses, and also the various groups they are representing, and then also the faculty of the College of Agriculture uh, that are involved in this program. And then, uh, of course, the key people behind this uh, project, uh, Ms. Grace Tan Kak Chong, President Jollibee Group Foundation, Ms. Beverly Postma, Executive Director, Grow Asia. Ms. Gisela Tiangzon, Executive Director of uh, Jollibee Group Foundation. Uh, Dr. Juliet Dalagan, Vice President for Higher Education of Saber University, Ateneo de Cagayan. And Dean Chari Mosqueda, the Dean of the College of Agriculture. So, again, my hapon sa tanan. No? Uh, in any project or activity, there is always the end part and the new beginning. Today, we are gathered via online to witness and attend the formal acknowledgement of the 132 students on the completion of the courses on agro-entrepreneurship. 108 of them finished the first phase, steps one to three, of the eight-step agro-enterprise clustering approach where participants learn concepts related to organizing smallholder farmer groups for inclusive value chains, and the 24 who are graduates of the second uh, and third phases no, of the eight-step agro-enterprise clustering approach. As I was told that uh, these are graduates of the introductory course who have successfully executed their action plans with uh, verifiable results. So my warmest congratulations to all of you and to the groups you're representing, government agencies, farmer co cooperatives and associations, local government units, uh, municipalities, cities, civil society organizations, financing institutions, and academic institutions. Congratulations also to the Awardees, no excellence, merit, and academic. I think they will be also honored now in this program this afternoon. It is my fervent hope that what you've learned from one another, from your activities, and from uh, the Exu Agriculture Faculty will bring you to better position to advance the cause of small farmers and of the whole agriculture entrepreneurship program in the country. For the 24 graduates, your task is now more focused and oriented towards actual planning, production technology, and market delivery. But all your tasks ahead are important to sustaining the development of agro-enterprise for our farmers and for the entire country. As always, Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan is sincerely grateful to Jolly B of Foundation, represented by its president, Ms. Grace Tan Katyong, and the other officers of the foundation for the partnership and cooperation. Saber University, Saber University is not a business corporation, and uh, we our main uh, contribution really are our faculty, our experts, the knowledge product in a university. And uh, we always. I think Father Mars is uh, on mute right now. Kindly unmute, sir. How muted me? 
Uh, can you hear me? Sir, yes, we can hear yes, you father. now. So, okay, so I'll just continue, no? As always, Saber University is grateful to Jollibee Group Foundation, represented by its president, Ms. Grace Tan Kakcho, and the other officers of Jollibee Group Foundation for the excellent partnership and cooperation. And uh, we always see this as an opportunity to be of service to small farmers and to the agriculture sector of our society. As much as we can, we try to do this also in collaboration with external groups because uh, this is part of our mission. And as a university, we also have to uh, see beyond the four walls in closing us, uh, especially of, uh, in creating opportunities <laughs> to uh, small people and uh, like our far farmers so in the country. So thank you because of this partnership, we're able to do what we are supposed to do also as a university. My thanks also to the Sebi University College of Agriculture represented by Dean Chari Mosqueda and her team and uh, the many other members also of the faculty. Uh, I don't have to mention the names, but I am sure they are here also participating in this program. So welcome to this welcome to exercises and again, congratulations to the proud graduates. Dagang salamat. Dagang salamat din po, Father Mars, for your inspiring message to the graduates. We're also very grateful for the support that you and your team has given throughout this milestone initiative. Right, Jean? That's right, Taki. No, XU has definitely been an invaluable partner in this course. It has been a productive collaboration between JGF and XU's faculty team, led by Dr. Chari Mosqueda. Before we proceed, let's take a moment to acknowledge the presence of our distinguished guests. Father Mars P. Tan, President of Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan, Ms. Grace Tan Kaktiong, President and Chair of Jollibee Group Foundation, Ms. Beverly Postma, Executive Director of Grow Asia, and Ms. Gisela Tiongson, Vice President and Executive Director, Jollibee Group Foundation. We also acknowledge the leaders of various organizations as well as our faculty. Thank you for supporting the graduates and joining us today. We would also like to welcome the alumni who graduated from the previous batches of our agro-entrepreneurship course. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. Throughout the program, please feel free to use the reaction buttons and leave well wishes on the chat box for our graduates. Yes, Gina. So thank you for being with us this afternoon. Alam mo ba, Jean, that the agro-entrepreneurship course was first launched in 2018 and was then conducted as a face-to-face -face program. But last year, we were finally able to bring it online. And how time flies. We are now on our second year. Our graduates learn about the agro-enterprise clustering approach that aims to teach smallholder farmers so they can acquire business skills for a most, more sustainable livelihood. That's right. Remind lang din po namin no, yung mga guests po natin today. Kind be mute po no, para po uh, marinig po natin yung mga speakers po natin. Thank you very much. Yes po na. So continuing no, tama taki, ang graduates ng intro course ay tinuruan ng first phase ng agro-enterprise clustering approach. Ito ay nakafocus sa pag-organize at pag-gather ng information. Habang yung intermediate course naman ay nakafocus sa phases 2 and 3. So sa phase 2, tungkol ito sa agro-enterprise planning para sa collective marketing at ang phase 3 naman tungkol na sa implementation at improvement ng kanilang plans. So dito inaasahan na matutulungan nilang mga magsasaka upang maging negosyante or agro-entrepreneurs na nakakapag-deliver na sa mga institutional na market. Yan. So magandang marinig rin natin mismo no, mula sa graduates kung paano nga ba maging bahagi ng course na ito. Para ikwento ang kanilang experience at mga natutunan sa course, panoorin po natin ang video na ito. Before we learned agro-enterprise clustering approach, the agri situation in our area are not properly organized and even the farmers were not organized. There is no activity uh, that is being undertaken by the farmers. They market it in kanya-kanya system sa mga local traders. Marami silang mga kapasidad, pero ang kulang yung magdadala sa kanila doon sa tamang direksyon.
An AA facilitator who organizes the clusters, they will be helping the farmers overcome its challenges and ensures that farmers participate in group activities, such as meetings, trainings, in working with the farmers, my perspective in the agri sector has changed. I realize the important role of farmers towards food security. We have seen the success stories of cooperatives doing the agro-enterprise clustering approach. This is an opportunity to Mansigi MPC in leveling up its agro-enterprise activities as a powerful source of economic growth. The bottom line is kumita na malaki sa pagsasaka. I joined the intermediate course because this would allow Rafi Microfinance to further improve our interventions on top of those that we have learned from the introductory course. I want to deepen my understanding about farm clustering that I could promote to the 35 commodity clusters initially identified in Region 2. Mas malalim siya, mas thorough yung pag-analyze natin ng bawat step para mas matulungan natin yung ating mga pinagsaservisyo ang mga magsasaka. We found value in terms of the coaching session, the co-ownership and learning sessions on leadership. Hindi lang yung pag-develop sa atin, na, sa paraan na itetrain natin yung ating mga farmers, kundi yung paano natin din ililid yung ating mga farmers. Maraming institusyon yung involved. So yung sharing of experiences, sharing of expertise, nakakatulong. The empathy and encouragement led to a very positive experience as we were able to say, ay hindi kami nag-iisa. No institution is an island. DA cannot do it alone. It needs the help of other agencies and private institutions to help our farmers. Maging kabahagi tayo sa pagbabago ng pamumuhay ng ating mga maliliit na magsasaka. Sa agro-enterprise clustering approach or AICA, panalo ang ating mga magsasaka. Grabe, Jean. Sobrang nakaka-inspire ang testimonials ng ating graduate. Ako specifically, nung minention nila no, na sa agro-enterprise clustering approach, panalo ang magsasaka. How about you? Tama, no? nakakatuwa talaga na makita na malaki ang naitulong ng course para gabayan ng ating agri-facilitators. So, nakita rin natin dito no, kung ano ang aabangan ng ating introductory course graduate sa intermediate course. Sabi nila intense, no? pero sabi din nila ay hindi sila nag-iisa kaya sana naman ay na-excite ang ating intro course graduates. Salamat din po sa aming um, graduates na nagbahagi po ng kanilang experience sa ating video. Yes, Jean, and sabi nga, no, while it is intense, marami rin silang makukuhang rewards in the end. So now, let's move on to the conferment of certificates to our graduates and recognition of special awardees. Last year, we have 97 graduates. This year, we have 108 participants who completed the course coming from the various sectors, all with the shared goals of transforming the agriculture sector. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the graduates of the Agro Entrepreneurship for Inclusive Value Chains introductory course. Again, please use the Zoom React buttons and the chat box to cheer for our graduate. So first, we have the graduate from the government agencies, starting with the Department of Agriculture. Let's start off with the graduate from the following regional offices. Cordillera Administrative Region. Region 2. Region 4A. Region 6. We are joined by Mr. Jose Albert Barogo, OIC Regional Executive Director, and Mr. Dominador Marquez, OIC Regional Technical Director for Operations and Extension. Region 7. Region 8. We are joined by Ms. Angel Enriquez, Regional Executive Director. Region 10. Region 11. Region 12 and Region 13. Alam mo ba, Jean, na by this time, all DA regional offices across the country have already joined the course. And aside from them, 
we also have graduates from the other DA divisions and departments from the Agribusiness Marketing Assistance Division of Cordillera Administrative Region, Region 4B, Region 6, we are joined by Ms. Maria Teresa Solis, AMAG Chief, Agribusiness and Marketing Assistance Services, Agricultural Training Institute of the Central Office, and the Cordillera Administrative Region. The Agricultural Credit Policy Council, we are joined by Ms. Emma Linguinto, OIC Admin and Division Chief for Communications and Public Affairs, and Mr. Norman William Kraft, Director for Program Monitoring and Information Systems Management. We also have the Department of Science and Technology, Philippine Council of Agriculture, Aquatic and Natural Resources Research and Development. Wow, it is an honor to have government representatives attend the course and it really shows how cross-sector partnerships are important to forward the Philippine agriculture. These partnerships support our next stakeholders coming from farmer cooperatives and associations. Our graduates represent the following organizations. Albacopa Federation of Cooperatives. Batangas Organic and Natural Farming Agriculture Cooperative. We are joined by Ms. Cecil Vertusho, Chairperson. Bugias Japan Agricultural Trainees Association Incorporated. Cooperative Enterprise for True Economic Reform. Gimaras Berethran Multipurpose Cooperative. Lamak Multipurpose Cooperative. Magalianes sa mahang magsasaka ng kay Apas at Medina Agriculture Cooperative. Magsige Multipurpose Cooperative. We are joined by Mr. Agripina Torres, Chief Executive Officer. Mindoro Progressive Multipurpose Cooperative. Mother Rita Multipurpose Cooperative. Perlas ng Silangan Multipurpose Cooperative. Southern Negros Agrarian Reform Cooperative. Southern Negros Credit Cooperative. Taloy Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative. We are joined by Ms. Lini Oliveros, Chief Operating Officer and Yakapat Halik Multipurpose Cooperative. Yes, Jean, it is as important to have the support of our next group to help ensure that smallholder farmers are empowered through agro-enterprise, presenting the graduate from the local government units of Mangkayam Benguet, Bani Pangasinan, Bayambang Pangasinan, San Jose City, Nueva Ecija, Dinalupihan Bataan, La Paz Tarla, Los Baños Laguna, Ibaan Batangas, Bula Pamarines Sur, Sipalay City Negros Occidental. We are joined by Honorable Maria Gina Lizares, City Mayor. Sibalom Antique, Alang Alang Leite. Tolosa Leyte, General Santos City, South Cotabato, Maragusan, Davao de Oro, and the Provincial Local Government Unit of Davao del Norte. Of course, civil society is key in making sure that agriculture stakeholders are involved in improving the sector. As such, we are fortunate to have graduates from the following NGOs, CSRs, corporate foundations, and social enterprises. We have Aboitis Foundation, Asia Pro Foundation Incorporated, Consortium of Bangsamoro Civil Society, Gramin Foundation. We are joined by Ms. Christine Villalago, Country Manager, and Ms. Judith Agnoleto, Farmer-to-Farmer Farmer Country Director. 
Jollibee Group Foundation. Kasaniyangan Center for Community Development and Microfinance Foundation Incorporated. Pilmico Foods Corporation. And Sea Oil Foundation Incorporated. And Shemper Jean, we also have the graduates from the following financing institutions. Who enable and empower their networks through financial aid and education. Ahon Sahirap Incorporated. We are joined by Ms. Mercedes Abad, President, and Mr. Jimmy Ramos, Vice President for Operation. St. Martin Tours Credit and Development Cooperative. And last but not the least, we are also joined by members of the academe whose research and expertise ensure that knowledge on agro-enterprise clustering approach can be shared and accessed by others. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from President Ramon Magsaysay State University and Visaya State University. Please give them a warm round of applause. You may also use the reaction buttons and leave claps and hearts for our graduates. Now, let's recognize the awardees of the introductory course. We will be presenting the Achievement and Merit Awards in recognition of their hard work and diligence in completing the course requirements. First, for their active participation in the course, we present this Certificate of Achievement to our awardees. We are happy to share that we have 42 Achievement Awardees this year. Ayan, pakihana po ang inyong pangalan. Ano? Ito po ay hindi nila alam, Taki. So, ngayon lang nila manalaman na sila ay isang Achievement Awardee. Ayan, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Yes, Gino, sa dami ng awardees natin, let us share this second slide with the rest of our Achievement Awardees. Yan, so, palakpakan naman natin sila. Yes, opo. So, isa ako taki no, sa participant managers and nakita talaga namin no, kung gano'ng ka-dedicated ang ating mga graduates. No? So, Well-deserved ang Achievement Award. Yan. Kahit yeah. brown out, kahit walang internet, talagang pinipilit nilang matapos ang requirements. Alright, congratulations po and good job to everyone. Yeah, no, Jean. So parang kasama ka na rin pala sa naging journey nila. No? So next up, we recognize the following graduates for their outstanding work in accomplishing course requirement. Please put your hands together for the merit awardees of the introductory course. We'll start with Dina Mejias, DA, ACPC. What? Ethel Joy Salazar, LGU of Ibaan, Batangas. Mark Ed Silkanda. Lamak Multipurpose Cooperative and Abigail Katapang, LGU of Dinalupian, Bataan. Let's give them a round of applause. Yes, congratulations. Tama, Certificate of Merit po, no? Congratulations. And meron pa. Let us also congratulate the following. Jerome Mabaso, Lamak Multipurpose Cooperative. Raymond Canoza, DA Amas. And Clark Melendres, DA Amad Region 6. Ayan, so I'm really happy to share that we have one more round of awardees to congratulate. Please put your hands together for Joffrey Gakayan from DOST Picard. Michael Brian Pascual, Grameen Foundation. And Catalino Obinario Jr. Center. Congratulations and let's give them a warm round of applause. To speak on behalf of the introductory course graduates, to share his experience of the course, let us welcome Mr. Catalino Obinario Jr. from the Cooperative Enterprise for True Economic Reform for his valedictory address. Yeah, good afternoon. Naimbag nga ang daw, bata kayo amin. Thank you very much for this recognition. However, uh, I refuse to be called a valedictorian dahil ang ginawa ko lang po is to share aspirations and whatever experiences we had at the Center Cooperative in providing services to our members and other poly farmers in Indonesia. I am sure now 
all of us have our own aspirations and experiences. So instead of giving a valedictory speech, let me share what to me was the most important insight from the course. As one of the tasks in the course, we were asked to prepare a reflection paper on our leadership journey. For me, this task was such an eye-opener. I realized, leader pala ako. Let me elaborate. In King Banueta Ecija, we believe that our pala yields are the result of what the best technologies and science can offer. However, the financial returns are not as rewarding mostly due to high production costs, which are beyond our control. And so, in Gimba, our cooperative has taken the lead in the search for means to minimize costs in pala production. And among our recent advocacies is taking advantage of economies of scale through geographical clustering. This means that adjacent smallholder farms can be clustered and worked on as a single farm. Now, through this course, we discovered that there is another dimension of clustering pala, which is to organize farmers into clusters for them to access greater value in the pala market chain. As organized clusters, farmers can be effective product supply units of agricultural product consolidation for marketing activities. And farmers can work together to organize production to bring to a committed to bring a committed consolidated supply to an agreed more profitable market and so now we can lead efforts in doing both geographical clustering to take advantage of economies of scale and thereby minimize clusters so that they are in a position to address constraints in their engagements with markets, thereby increasing profit. For helping us trainees to realize the leaders in us and providing us the tools that will help us in our leadership journey, allow me to express my sincerest uh, gratitude to the Jollibee Foundation and the Savior University for putting together and making available a very well-organized and informative course that provides trainees the opportunity to become better development workers. To all our resource persons and facilitators, you are all very generous in sharing your experiences and wisdom. Allow me also to personally thank the cooperative's current partners, the Foundation for a Sustainable Society Incorporated, or FSSI, for realizing the importance of the course and recommending us to attend. And the Peace and Equity Foundation, or PEF, a very valuable support organization in the truest agro-enterprise clustering approach sense. This early, the PEF has already committed to redesign its initiatives in IMBA to incorporate the cooperative's agro-enterprise clustering approach action plan and extend the necessary resources, including financial assistance. They do firmly believe in the value of organizing farmers. Although our co-op is constantly in contact with farmers, uh, it has no direct organizing experience as such. The co-op has to be prepared to transition into doing the agro-entrepreneurship clustering approach. In our leadership journey reflection paper, I mentioned that the of Jefferson, I will have to do so. My fellow trainees, may I enjoy you to also continue your leadership in helping our farmers so that they get the most of what they deserve. I am sure that the course we all completed will prove to be a valuable tool in our own leadership journey. To my fellow graduates from batches uh, three, four, and five of the introductory course. In the pioneer batch of the intermediate course, all of us, congratulations. Our leadership journey ahead will not be easy and will be very challenging, but let us make sure that we have fun. 
Let me end by quoting an excerpt lifted from one of our readings entitled A Vision of the Filipino Farmer by Dr. Shalito Habito, former NEDA Director General. The typical Filipino farmer we would like to see is in his 40s, whose small farm forms part of a contiguous area efficiently managed as a commercial scale enterprise that includes processing or value adding to their products. Ideally, that enterprise would be owned by a professionally managed cooperative of the farmers who earn from the sale not only of their raw produce, but of the higher value processed product. I am sure that all of us can relate to this vision. The best of luck to all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sir Kata. We are glad and encouraged to hear about what this experience has meant to you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much din po, sir. No? So, Sir Kata is from Batch 5, our most recent graduates. Fresh na fresh as last week lang sila natapos. No? Congratulations po. Thank you po. Now, we move on to another much-anticipated speaker. In various parts of the world, many organizations are working towards the goal of empowering farmers and linking them to the supply chain of companies. One of these is Grow Asia. In the Philippines, they are represented by the Philippines Partnership for Sustainable Agriculture, which promotes collaboration and learning to promote inclusive agriculture value chains. Joining us this afternoon to talk about the value of partnership in accelerating agriculture in our country is the Executive Director of Grow Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, please all welcome our guest speaker, Ms. Beverly Pasma, for an inspirational message. Hello and good afternoon to you all from here in Singapore. Magandang hapon. Father Mars P. Tan, President of Xavier University, Ateneo de Gacayan. Ms. Grace Tan Kation, President and Chair of Jollibee, Jollibee Group Foundation. And Ms. Gisela Tiongson, Executive Director, Jollibee, Jollibee Group Foundation. Thank you for inviting me to join this inspiring ceremony. It's my great honor just to share a few words on behalf of your friends in the Grow Asia Network. The Jollibee Group Foundation is a longtime partner of Grow Asia. It has been a privilege to work alongside all of you and learn from you over the last few years as we work together to co develop and implement concrete solutions to build the resilience and self-reliance of communities across the Philippines. I'm consistently impressed by the efforts of the foundation in engaging smallholder farmers in your supply chains, how forward thinking you are in adopting a systems-based approach and the importance you place on partnerships and collaboration as a central role in ensuring your interventions are successful, scalable, and most importantly, sustainable. What makes it even more inspiring is the foundation's commitment to sharing all of your tried and tested models to support other organizations to scale up their respective value chain projects. This commitment is encapsulated in this course on agri-entrepreneurship for inclusive value chains, yeah. which allows us to celebrate yeah. today the, the tireless work of all of the graduates who have completed this important course. Congratulations to all of you. I can only imagine the hours that you have all put in to reach this important milestone in your careers. In our work at Grow Asia, we have seen the phenomenal potential that gets realized when different and very diverse actors across the agricultural sector come together and how this can result in significant change in the lives of growers and small family businesses who lie at the center of our food systems here in Southeast Asia. Throughout the years and in the course of our efforts, we have realized that if we want significant and lasting change, we need to open our doors 
and welcome warmly the support and partnership of other organizations that are willing to share their challenges and their triumphs with us. Only then can we truly create the ripples of empowerment and positive change that we need to see across our region. As of today, the Grow Asia Network has engaged more than 600 partners from all over the world. Together, that's enabled us to reach more than two and a half million smallholder farmers in Southeast Asia with the market-driven tools, the solutions, and the resources they need. Earlier this year, we launched four new multi-donor impact funds worth more than 20 million US dollars. And we know that this will allow us to unlock even more capital and reach even more deserving businesses. But we cannot do this alone. We need people and experts like you. I cannot overemphasize the role of agricultural extension in the suites of essential services that are required to empower our farming communities to be the engines of economic growth and the champions of climate change resilience. I was fortunate myself to grow up with a farming background. My father was an agricultural extension leader. And I know how important it is for farmers all over the world to have access to technologies, information, and resources that are so vital to their business success. As we near the end of this year, 2022, we have fewer than nine annual planting cycles left if we are to build more sustainable, inclusive, and healthy food systems by 2030. And if we are to meet the ambitious but essential UN Sustainable Development Goals. So I commend all graduates here today for completing this vital course. It signifies your personal commitment to bringing much needed resources and expertise to our farming communities across the Philippines. You are the vital bridge that will connect these businesses and families to the markets they need to grow their own businesses and to the networks that they need to build more resiliency in the face of climate change and financial shocks. The investment of your personal time, your expertise and your energy will not only serve as a foundation to your own professional development, it will bring the much needed assistance to farming communities in the years to come. Now, I really hope that you will find the opportunity to come together again as a group in the future and, and share your personal takeaways from this course and how they have benefited society and how you have contributed to the development of your own country at large. I cannot end without thanking the Jolly, Jollibee Group Foundation. Gisela, I am aware of how much support that you and your team have been extending to Grow Asia over the years since we began our work in the Philippines with PPSA. Our respective organizations have come a very long way and, and our work in the Philippines is made stronger and more effective because of the trust and the assistance of teams like yours who embody the very ethos of collaboration. So I look forward to many, many year, more years of working together with you. And I cannot wait to finally meet you on home soil. It will happen, I promise, early next year. So for now, I, I wish to congratulate you and to extend a warm invitation to all of today's graduates to view yourselves as vital and potential partners towards building a more inclusive, resilient and sustainable food system in the Philippines, 
in Southeast Asia and beyond. Thank you very much to you all and congratulations. Thank you very, thank you very much, Ms. Beverly. We hope our guests have gained new insight as they build their own partnerships for the benefit of the farmers in their communities. So, Jean, I just want to pick up no, you one line from what uh, Ms. Beverly said in, in her message, the importance of collaboration and partnership, which is actually a core of our agro-entrepreneurship uh, agro course na tinuturo natin sa ating mga uh, graduates. No? And so, Jean, for the second part of our program, we move for the conferment of certificates and recognition of special awardees from the inaugural batch of the intermediate course. We would like to take the opportunity to recognize our graduate from this level. As attendees of the intermediate course, this signifies that they have successfully implemented the actions, action plans that they have developed from the introductory course. Kung baga, they really have advanced the practice of agro-entrepreneurship. That's right. So ito ay mga graduates natin from the introductory course na successfully nag-implement ng action plan at ngayon ay nakabilang sa pioneer batch ng ating intermediate course. So pakihanda po ulit ang inyong mga emoji, mga reactions. Ano? Let us congratulate the graduates from government agencies represented by the Department of Agriculture, Regional Field Offices of Region 2, Region 3, we are joined by Mr. Eduardo Lapus, Regional Technical Director for Field Operations and AMAD. And Region 8. Next up, we have the graduates from the following farmer, cooperatives, and association. Alcala Onion Rice Corn Growers Multipurpose Cooperative. Magallanes Samahang Magsasaka ng Kayapas at Medina Agriculture Cooperative. Sacred Heart Savings Cooperative, we are joined by Mr. Jaime Galinata, Jr., Chief Executive Officer. Joining the ranks of the pioneer batch of the intermediate course are the graduates from the local government units of Alcala, Cagayan, Alcala, Pangasinan, and San Luis, Batangas. We also have a graduate from the social enterprise sector from the Green Habits Agri-Trading. Of course, we also congratulate our graduates from the following financing institutions. Ahon Sahirap Incorporated. Rafi Microfinance. And Tulay Sa Pag Unlad Incorporated. We are joined by Ms. Alice Cordero, Executive Director. Siyempre, Jean, last but not the least, we have the Academe represented by Central Luzon State University. We are joined by Dr. Eugenia Baltazar, Director of CLSU Extension Center. Congratulations, everyone, and please give them a warm round of applause. You know, Jean, no, isang mabilis na balik tanaw lang ngayong afternoon, no? na bago ang intermediate course, 13 organizations were able to organize 482 farmers or 32 clusters ready to collectively market their produce to their identified markets. So by the end of the intermediate course, eight organizations were actually able to sell their products through collective marketing. Tama, no? Talagang naging agro-entrepreneurs na yung mga tinutulungan nilang farmers. And in celebration of their success and recognition of their hard work, we are very happy to confer the following awards to the graduates from the following organizations. We present the Certificate of Achievement to the following organizations. Green Habit Agri-Trading. Central Luzon State University and Rafi Microfinance. Next, for our second highest award, we present the Certificate of Merit to Tulay ng Pagunlad Incorporated. Congratulations. And last, 
but certainly not the least, no? We conferred the highest award to our Excellence Awardee. Sino kaya ito? We have Ahon Sahirap Incorporated. Yan. Congratulations and we hope you can continue your great work in transforming the country's agriculture sector. Siyempre, Jean, kung kanina narinig natin ang experience ng ating mga graduates mula sa introductory course, ngayon naman ay papakinggan natin kung ano ang mga lessons na natutunan ng mga graduates ng ating intermediate course. To speak on behalf of their batch and to talk about what the intermediate course entails for the future participants, let us all welcome Mr. Angel Dorado of Ahon sa Hirap Incorporated for his valedictory address. Wow. So bago ko po pasimulan ang aking mensahe, uh, nais ko munang bumati ng isang masagana at mabiyayang araw po sa ating lahat. Uh, pasasalamat una sa ating poong lumikha sa lahat ng mga biyaya at pagpapala sa Jollibee Group Foundation at Xavier University para sa lahat ng kaalaman at paggabay sa amin sa lahat ng institusyon at organisasyon na nakiisa at nakibahagi upang maging matagumpay ang aming pag-aaral patungkol sa agro-enterprise clustering approach. Sa mga magsasaka na nagbahagi ng kanilang mga makukulay, makabuluhan at puno ng inspirasyon ng mga kwento at sa mga kapwa ko magtatapos sa araw na ito, tanggapin niyo po ang aking pagsaludo sa inyong lahat. Palagian nating naririnig that agriculture is the backbone of our economy. Totoo naman ito, walang duda. At ang sarap sa pandinig. Subalit sa tuwing may mga kasalamuha tayong mga magsasaka at maririnig ang kanilang mga kwento, bakit laging may kurot sa dibdib? Ako ay anak ng isang magsasaka. Noong bata pa ako, madalas na pangaral sa amin ng aming mga magulang na mag-aral ng mabuti upang hindi kami matulad sa kanila. Na kung hindi gigising ng maaga, tatapak sa putik at mababad sa sikat ng araw, walang ipapakain at ipangtutustos sa pangangailangan ng pamilya. Noong, noong mga panahong yon, hindi ko lubos na nauunawaan ang kanilang ibig iparating sa amin. Basta ang tumatak sa isip ko, ang pagpunta sa bundok at bukirin ay isang mababang uri ng hanap buhay at hindi dapat pinapangarap ng isang batang tulad ko. Subalit na bago ang aking kinamulatang kaisipan, noong nabigyan na ako ng pagkakataong makasalamuha ang mga magsasaka at personal na marinig ang kanilang mga kwento, marami pala silang pangarap, marami pala silang gustong marating. Subalit hindi nila alam paano sila magsisimula. Sino ang kanilang malalapitan? Pinanday na sila ng panahon. May sapat silang mga kaalaman. Hindi na matatawaran ang kanilang mga karanasan. At naghihintay lamang sila ng tamang oportunidad. Tamang mga taong malalapitan. Hahawak sa kanilang mga kamay tatapik sa kanilang mga balikat at magsisilbi nilang gabay upang masimulan ang hakbang tungo sa mga pinapangarap na tagumpay. Pangarap na hindi lamang para sa sariling pamilya, maging sa komunidad na kanilang kinabibilangan. Kung kailan nito mangyayari at sino ang tutulong sa kanila, hindi rin nila alam. At ang malungkot pa, wala rin silang kasiguraduhan kung may makukuha silang kasagutan. Sa mga kasamahan kong magtatapos sa araw na ito at sa mga institusyon at organisasyon na kasama namin sa ngayon na nagtiwala at nagbigay ng kanilang buong suporta, tayo po ang kanilang hinihintay. Tayo po ang kanilang pag-asa. Tayo po ang kanilang magiging inspirasyon at magsisilbing sagot sa matagal ng tanong ng ating mga bayaning magsasaka. Sabi nga ni Jollibee, tayo ang maghahatid ng saya at ligaya sa bawat pamilya. 
Ang mga natutunan natin sa agro-enterprise clustering approach, ang ating magiging sandata, ang banderang ating iwawagayway, ang magsisilbing sulo upang tanglawan ang direksyon tungo sa hinahangad nilang tagumpay. Hindi madali, maaring maraming maging balakid. Subalit kung tayo ay magsasama-sama, sama-samang hahakbang, walang imposible. Sa pamagitan ng agro-enterprise clustering approach ay kakayanin nating lahat. Ang sarap makakita ng isang komunidad na nagkakaisa at may malasakit sa bawat isa. Isang progresibong komunidad na nagtutulungan, nagbabahagi na ng kakayahan. Ito ang buong konsepto ng agro-enterprise clustering approach. Hindi isa-isa, bagkus sama-sama. Patuloy tayong bumuo ng grupo ng mga magsasakang negosyante, mga magsasakang tataguyod at magpapalago sa industriya ng agrikultura, mga magsasakang magsisilbing inspirasyon ng mga kabataan sa bagong henerasyon. Pangarap ko na wala ng batang angel na magkakaroon ng maling kaisipan patungkol sa pagsasaka. Bagkus, Maraming mag magkaroon ng maraming batang angel na mga ngarap na ipagpatuloy ang mga nisimulan ng ating mga magigiting na magsasaka. May ilan sa atin kasalukuyan ng naglalakbay. Mayroong kas kasisimula pa lamang at may sisimulan pa lamang. Maari kiramdam natin na parang tuldok lamang ang ating nagiging contribution. Pero kapag pinagsama-sama natin ang bawat tuldok na ating ginawa, makakabuo tayo ng isang malaking bilog. Walang sukat at bilang ang contribution, ang importante galing sa puso. Mga kapwa ko agro-enterprise facilitators, wow, ang sarap pakinggan. Sabi nga, many are called but few are chosen. Tayo ang pinili na maging instrumento upang mabago ang buhay ng ating mga pinaglilingkuran at ito ay isang magandang biyaya mula sa ating poong may kapal. Tara na, wala nang patumpik-tumpik pa. Ikalat na natin ang saya at ligaya na dulot ng agro-enterprise clustering approach. Muli, congratulations po, maraming salamat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Wow, maraming maraming salamat po Sir Angel ano. Matagos sa puso ano yung message ni Sir Angel, may ilan po sa ating naluha. <laughs> maraming salamat po Sir no. Sinabi rin ni Sir no na ang mga magsasaka na no, meron silang kapasidad pero ang kailangan yung magdadala sa kanila sa tamang direksyon. At yun ang role niyo po no, mga agri facilitators. Salamat Sir no, ramdam namin ang dedikasyon niyo sa mga magsasaka at siguradong magiging inspirasyon kayo lalo na sa ating introductory course graduates para pagbutihin ang kanilang action plans at makasama natin sila sa intermediate course next year. Ayan, congratulations again, Sir Angel, and to our graduates. Grabe, Jean, isa rin ako sa malapit ng maiyak dun sa message ni Sir Angel. So our program is almost ended, but this event would not be complete if we don't hear from our leader in the Jollibee Group Foundation, who have always provided the inspiration for our work. To offer the Foundation sincerest well wishes and gratitude to, for the participants' hard work, And to officially close today's ceremony, please join me in welcoming Ms. Grace Tangkakyong, Chair and President of the Jollibee Group Foundation. Um, Grace, kindly unmute po. Thank mm. you, ma'am. Yes, we can hear you now. Sorry. Thank you, Taki and Jane. A jolly afternoon to our partners from Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan, led by Father Mars Tan of the Society of Jesus. Our guest speaker, Ms. Beverly Hotzma of Grow Asia. Our partners in the Farmer Entrepreneurship Program, or FEP. Esteemed guests, my colleagues in Jollibee Group Foundation, 
Good afternoon. I would also like to specially greet the luminaries of this afternoon's event, the 2022 graduates of the Agro Entrepreneurship for Inclusive Value Chains course. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Jollibee Group Foundation, let me commend all of you for your perseverance in completing the training despite the inevitable challenges of an online learning setup. We hope you are equally proud of your accomplishments and are ready for the next steps in promoting agro-entrepreneurship in your respective areas. In your agro-entrepreneurship journey, uh, as uh, Sir Kata had just mentioned, expect that you will encounter many enriching experiences. Some will uplift you, some not as much. While we all want to have good experiences, risks and failures are essential part of the process. But I think you would agree Oftentimes, it's from these experiences that we really learn from and grow. Because truly, it leads the courage to persist that will make a difference in the end. And already, the stories we got from our fellow graduates are very promising. Participants from the Central Luzon State University found that convincing farmers to organize into cluster was a major challenge. One year into implementing the agro-enterprise clustering approach, they now guide two clusters in Nueva Ecija together with the local government units. Recently, these groups have secured a contract from an institutional buyer for their special rice guaranteeing them of a higher price than, the, than those from the local markets. Meanwhile, your federal graduates from the Department of Agriculture Region 6 and from the Gibaras Cooperative took several attempts to negotiate with markets for the best price for their calamansi. And just last month, the co-op was able to secure their first institutional market, the biggest calamansi processor in the province. Isn't it amazing? Congratulations to these groups. I hope you are energized as well as we are by these stories. We are excited to hear more stories from all of you. Please send them in. Let we end with this photo of FEP farmer leaders. All of them, when they joined FEP, were shy, hardly spoke, and could not, took, could not look at us directly in the eye. Today, they are entrepreneurs who can transact and do business with any market. I said, any market. From their earnings, they have built their homes, sent their children to school, and bought vehicles. They even train other farmers as very effective trainers. This gives us high hope and knowing that our agriculture will be brighter in the years ahead, especially now that we have more facilitators like yourselves. Together, we can grow the agro-enterprise community to assist more farmers to become entrepreneurs. Thank you to Father Mars, uh, Miss Beverly, and our valedictorian, Sir Angel, for your valuable message to inspire us on our journey. On behalf of the Jollibee Grove Foundation and all our partners who make this course possible, our warmest congratulations and our heartfelt thanks for being part of this adventure. I wish all of you a truly rewarding journey ahead. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Mom Grace. We are truly grateful for your leadership as we implement the Foundation's program. Thank you, ma'am. 
And now, before we end our program this afternoon, may we request everyone to turn on their cameras so we can take a group photo. We know everyone has dressed up today, so please don't be shy and join us for the photo op. Now, since there are a lot of us in the room today, may we request everyone to hold their smiles, niti lang po tayo, until we are able to capture everyone in the photos. Our teammate Gabby will guide us through the process. Gabby? Hello everyone! Uh, reminding lang po everyone to please mute yourselves and please turn on your video. Um, this will take a while but I'll be as quick as possible. Um, I will now start taking our photos. All right, uh, I'll start with the first page. One, two, three, smile. Okay, um, next page. Ready? One, two, three, smile. Okay, we're halfway. One, two, three, smile. Okay, two more pages. One, two, three, smile. I sorry, ano last two pala to. One, two, three, smile. All right, last. One, two, three, smile. All right, thank you, everyone. Congratulations again. Ayan, Gino, it's great that we are ending our event with all the smiles around. Ramdam na ramdam sa ating mga kanya-kanyang Zoom uh, accounts yung excitement and saya ng ating graduates this afternoon. And on that note, we are now concluding today's ceremony. We thank you to all of you for joining us this afternoon to celebrate the achievements of our graduates of our Agro Entrepreneurship for Inclusive Value Chains course. Thank you again to Father Mars, to Miss Beverly, and Mom Grace for sharing your messages to our graduates. Thank you also to Sir Kata and Sir Angel. To our graduates, we hope you can continue sharing with us your agro enterprise journey. Sabi nga ni Mom Grace, no? When posting on Facebook, please tag us at Jollibee Group Foundation and Savior University Ateneo de Cagayan. Makikita po namin yan at isashare namin sa team. And to everyone else, we, ho we hope you can also follow JGF's page on Facebook for updates on the course and our programs. Thank you again for being with us this afternoon. This has been Jean Merced. And I'm Taki Tateno, and we hope you had a great afternoon. Stay safe and congratulations to all the graduates.